All right, what's up guys? All right, so as you can see, it's kind of rainy and ugly. So I wasn't able to do the video I wanted to do, which pretty much was racing another car. So today I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much show you a video of why I got an A5. So I always get people asking me, why did I get an A5, not an S5? And honestly, like the reason why is I wanted something more affordable and something more reliable, something a lot more cheap as well. Because when you buy an S5, it comes with a lot more responsibility. People just see the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through the five reasons why I bought an A5. So first things first is pretty much the looks of it. It pretty much looks just how an S5 comes. Um, pretty much the only big difference I would say between this and an S5 is, I would say just some different upgrades. I think like silver caps, like different um, side skirt, like it's a really thin side skirt. And the bumper is a little bit different as well. But other than that, the car looks identical. Like if you were to pull up this car next to an S5, you'd be like, oh, they're both S5s. And I've had a lot of people ask me like, oh, is this an S5? But yeah, honestly, they look identical. I'll post some videos of like where the car is super clean. And you'll agree with me, this car looks amazing. It's still an Audi, it's still a brand new looking car. It looks great, like honestly, for looks, it's one of the best cars, I'd say. And the second thing is, the engine, it's super reliable. It's a 2.0. Honestly, you can't get like more reliable than this engine for me, personally. Um, I bought this car with maybe like 40 or 30,000 miles and not once have I ever had a problem. And I think within the first two years I put more than 40,000 miles on it and not once have I ever had a hiccup. I'm um, full bolt times, I have a tune on it, I've ran E85, I've done all the things and not once has this car given me a problem ever. So it just depends, do maintenance, take care of your car. I beat on it, but honestly if you keep up with your maintenance, do the things that you're supposed to, this car will give you no problems. When you get an S5, it comes with more stuff. Something breaks in there, you're buying S5 <laughs> engine parts. You're not buying a four cylinder and pretty much it becomes really expensive really quickly. So that's what I was looking for whenever I was buying this car. And also with reliability, it comes pretty much, it's super eco-friendly. Like it takes like 25 bucks to fill up on premium. And that lasts me like 400 miles. So this thing is super like daily driven type car which is supposed to be because it's an A5. It's the base model, it's not the sports model, no nothing, but still, for me, because I drive this every single day, it's amazing for what it is. So number two would be reliability and pretty much is great for daily drive. So pretty much this thing, number three, I would go is pretty much engine mods or modifications in general. can do all the things you can do with other cars and the thing is it comes with the turbo so pretty much the modifications are endless you can do intakes exhaust pretty much muffler delete stuff like that blow off valves it's a fun honestly it's like a tuner car because when it comes to turbos you know you can do a whole lot of things and then with the tune it really wakes up the car and honestly it's a fun car like it's not an ugly car and pretty much you can modify it so it does add to the aspect of it Honestly, since I've done all these things to it, I probably run 300 something to the wheel. I want to say 315, 310, and I can keep up with most cars. So honestly, it's a fun car. It's cheap, and pretty much number three would be engine modifications or mods in general. And for my number four, pretty much the exterior looks beautiful. I would say it does, but also interior-wise. Excuse me if it's a little bit dirty, but yeah. Interior wise, you can see everything on it is super nice. It's a brand new car. It's an Audi still. They can't disappoint. Um, I don't have the S line, so I don't got the package, but still, like honestly, this 
is way better than my BMW I used to have before and I used to have the M Sport well like the performance package on it and honestly this didn't come close to it at all like you can see the steering wheel it's like one of the nicest steering wheels I've seen the S line comes with a flat bottom and the seats but honestly the base package it's amazing for what it is I fell in love with it the first time I ever went to go look at it at the dealership and I just I fell in love with it. The surround sound is in it is insane. You got the Bang & Olufsen in it. That's the one I have in mind. But pretty much everything's leather. Pretty much, it's just nice, honestly, for what it is. For even for a base package. I know I keep saying base package, but still, it's an Audi. You can't disappoint. And for my number five, honestly, is pricing. I bought this car for, I want to say, like 18. And that was like with 30,000 miles. And it's an A5. It's one of the more rare ones to find a good pricing on and stuff like that. But if you look for an A4, they run cheaper than that. It's like, it's it's a good price car. I know 18,000 to some people is a whole lot. To me, 18,000 is still a whole lot of money. Don't, don't get me wrong. But honestly, for the pricing of it, what you get, you get a foreign car, you get good reliability. The mods, you can do a whole lot of mods, you know, bigger turbo, stuff like that. So pretty much, yeah, guys. It's modifications you can do. You can go bigger turbo, you can do exhaust, you can do all the nine yards, you can be a car guy with this car. Number two, it looks great. It looks as if you got one of the top of the line cars. Number three, it's pretty much the interior is beautiful. The reliability is there because I've never had a hiccup. I've heard other people pretty much just gaskets and stuff like that, but maintenance wise, you can take care of that before it even happens. And fifth is the price on it. You can't beat it for the price. It's a beautiful car. It, people think I spent like 60000 on this car when I didn't, you know? But yeah, guys, I just want to make a quick video since the weather wasn't working out in my favor. But next video I have is going to be something a little bit different that I do very rare on the channel. But I hope y'all like it. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and pretty much do more content with other cars and other car people. And, but yeah, guys, if you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's going to help out more than ever. And peace, y'all. I'll catch y'all next time.